any fatherly advice from Wilbo about how to deal with it? Mm -hmm. We haven't had the girl talk yet, <laughs> but thanks though. Thanks a lot. <laughs> now, well, now we, we, he's, he just had his 12th birthday, so he just, it was uh, July 8th, he, he turned 12, so. Uh, Weird that you had it at a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to break the boy into the light. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no so, comment so, on so that. Sorry, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We, were, oh, we weren't supposed to release that puppy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I was wondering, do any of you know any Norwegian and uh, your relationship to Harald? How, how, how is it to be friends and how is it to develop? You know, I know one Norwegian actually, and it's Harold right here. And he <laughs> is, since he's the only one, he's the you best. Know oh yes, I actually, oh yeah, I know, I know, I know quite a few actually. <laughs> I'm tripping. I need some sleep. I need some sleep. But you know, Harold, he is a great guy. You know. And I just, I, I loved hanging out with him on the set, you know. But, I mean, he had a hard time on the set, you know. Sometimes it was just difficult because the language barrier is serious in China. <laughs> like, it's, it's cement. <laughs> and, you know, on, on, uh, on the set, he was just getting so, like... Everybody was getting agitated sometimes. I mean, I could see him pulling out the remaining of his hair. Okay. And but it was a it it was a good experience. It was a good experience. It was. It's it's really been a pleasure. Um, as as we were saying before, working with Harold, um, he's very collaborative and and. Coming to Norway, having the opportunity to come to Oslo, we were here for the Nobel Peace Prize, and it was the first time I'd been here. I don't know if it was the first time for you, but I was just, I was just astonished of the beauty. And then to be back this time of year, um, we were flying over, and I was, Will was like, "Hey, this is your, <laughs> this is your type of spot. It's all green," and uh, and I was like, "It's so beautiful here." And we were thinking, "Oh, we got to spend some more time, you know, because um, we don't get." To this part of the world very often but it's just gorgeous so hopefully uh, if, today if we spend enough time we could we could maybe get them to adjust the name to Norwell that would be hot just a so. suggestion <laughs> Okay, now you want to do Norwill, and you already talked about turning Hollywood into Willywood. Willywood, right. I'm just saying. I'm just making suggestions, so people can take good ideas or not. Oh, well, we'll see. I have a question for, for Jane. Uh, and his parents. Um, I wondered how much did you feel you really need to do, and how much could you do before you started training for this ball? And uh, to your parents, how much training can you actually yeah. That was that was, that the, was question. the big question. That was the big question <laughs> and the stretching. Uh, uh, Jackie wanted to make sure that Jaden had certain techniques down, and I think it was uh, Jackie made, told us he had to know the splits in every direction, right. yeah. frontward side, each side, backwards. Yeah, <laughs> and so um, that was probably the most painful, mm -hmm. difficult part to watch. Um, there were times Jane was in tears, mm -hmm. and as his mother, I would look and I'd go, should I stop this? <laughs> Is this enough? And then Jane would look up at me, and he would get up from the split, and he would look to his teacher, and he'd say, I want to do it again. And that just amazed me, yeah. you know, as I'm getting teary right now yeah. thinking about it, because he, wa he had his own self-determinism, you know, mm -hmm. he really wanted to do it, and so... As a mom, you just, he's, as a mom, you just got to back off, you mm -hmm. know, and so he put forth um, really all the effort, um, and yes, those stretches are him. Mm -hmm. He did uh, pretty much 95% of his own stunts, um, and you know, Jackie really stayed on top of 
you know, his technique. And so when you're working with a master like Jackie Chan and his team, there's really not much more you could ask for your <laughs> for your just child get out the way. to have. You just right. gotta really just get out the way. And another thing that was that was really helpful is there were you know twenty other kids that were eleven, twelve, and thirteen years well, old. Well, when we got to China, well, once we got but to China, he, yeah, he, you know he had to do all that by yeah, himself, by himself. But yeah, for yeah. three months, three hours a day. Right. Yeah. You know, but, but but you know, but by the time we got to China, and then there were other kids, that, you know, but there were kids who had been doing it from two and three years right. old. So it was a, it was a little different, but you could sort of measure how far you the the kids could push um, in a group a lot easier than it was when Jaden was by himself. But he he's also um, and, and the way that we raise our children is this is your life, you know, though. So, He's in charge of his body. He's in charge of his space, and he says when it's enough. Right. And when he says that it's enough, then as his parents, we apply our power to his will and to his desire, rather than trying to use our power to force him yeah. to do something. You know, we we will always encourage him to do what we think is the best thing for his life and for his goals, but. Um, just I hope that when you look at him you can see someone who is determined and sort of in his own space and you can tell by the nervousness of his parents that he might just say anything <laughs> you know, so it's it, it, it wasn't as big an issue as as it as it could have been if we had to force him yeah he really and he was the one that decided that he wanted to train on his lunch breaks once he started yeah. working you know, I'd pull him to the side and I'd be like, babe, you know, are you okay? Are you sure you want to do this? And he's like, listen, I'm trying to get these fight scenes down. <laughs> you know what I mean? He really, he has his father's work ethic in that way. He just, he's a perfectionist in his own way. You know, he works a little differently. He has a, a different flow than his dad, energy-wise, but he wants the best. And I, I was just really proud of him. He grew up so much on this movie and... Um, I was just proud of yeah, I think I definitely grew up like two times faster than I should have while I was in China. <laughs> so like I was supposed to be four months older, but I was actually eight months older. <laughs> I give you and I, I had to, uh, I was training on my lunch breaks because when I wasn't doing anything, which was very rare, I had about three minutes of my day when I wasn't doing anything, I would talk to Jackie. And he would tell me stories about, like, him hurting himself and stuff and how he broke every bone in his body, like, ten times. <laughs> and I don't want that to happen. So I think I'm going to get my training down <laughs> so I don't break my nose, okay? Because that does not look pretty on camera. <laughs> Jaden, how about the, the acting part of it? Um, how did you get into the character? Like, what, what was the whole process like? Um, you know, I just, like, I, my dad always says, stay in the scene. <coughs> you have to be the person in the scene. You have to be them. You can't act and try to be them. You have to be them. If they're eating pizza, don't pretend to eat pizza. That is the... <laughs> Just eat pizza. <laughs> <laughs> no? That's the key. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Insane. It's easier. It's not as easy as what I just said. So. <laughs> <laughs> just. Um, just on the, on the fighting bit, I just want to add that uh, there is no speed manipulation on the camera. It's all real. There's no wire to make him or anybody else jump extra high. Um, actually, I think there's only two or three shots where we didn't use Jaden because one was a, a really dangerous one um, where we had somebody older and the other ones were because I was gone. he was gone and, <laughs> <laughs> and I just needed a wide shot so I, I put his double in the shot but all the fighting is all him mm -hmm. and it's just as fast as it it's as realistic there's no manipulation on our behalf so that's just fantastic thank you Harold and I want, I want to